What year do you think it is? Uh, 40s, if I'm remembering what You think 40s? Said. All right. It's, hey, it's complete with a door knocker. Dude, I love the door handle, even though it came off of my hand. I can fix it. I'm a door guy. OK. You know? I can fix that. Here, get in there and let me make sure this. See if we can sell him something. Who is it? Oh. What do you think? Well, nothing has lived in this for a long time. No. Well, it's been floating around us for about six, seven years. How much are you going to give us to take it? <laughs> it's scrap metal, but I don't know, give me six. Six? Six what? I don't know. We're not paving the parking lot. What about 400? Mm. I'd do that. It... Lock that in. Yeah? Sound like a bill. It's going to be a very interesting vehicle after we get done with it. Well, I can't wait to see it. Jeff Lutz is going to hes going to hate it. No, he's going to be excited about no. it. When he sees this thing no. and then he gets our vision no. in his head, quit. he's going to be online. He's going to get He loves this thing. New job. <laughs> no? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> right there. Huh? Let me tell you something. Isn't How this about great? that, Lutz? Check it out! You ain't never seen nothing like this. What is that? What the f is that? Think of a scrapyard oh, diving again. Lutz oh, Jr. This oh, is God. the most exciting build that we've ever thought of. I can see it. Okay? I can see the excitement What's on there. I can tell how excited they are. Okay. Okay? This is not it. It's amazing. I thought they were. Okay? Love it. I was wrong. Get this. Okay. okay? Talk to me. Camper, car, okay? <laughs> we take this, hollow it out. We just need the shell. Cut around the meat. We put it on top of a car, drive it down the road. Everyone's gonna think it's a rogue camper that came off some trailer hitch somewhere, but we're cruising. But the damn wall's outside the vehicle. It's hard to visualize. Oh. It's hard to but visualize. This project is what I would consider a hybrid build. We're creating a car that will freak people out on the road and lay down a pretty fast pass at the track. First, we'll need a short-nosed van to base everything around. But a used van is going to need an engine update. So we'll drop in a bigger motor and some nitrous for added performance. Then the real fun starts. We'll fit a new camper frame around the van and install mechanical lifts that will allow us to access the engine and the other parts of the van. And we'll place a hitch on the front of the van to act as a decoy to deceive people even more. And then finally, we'll reskin the new frame with the old RV shell. This will conceal everything that we've done underneath. We'll get working on this. Yep. F and F. You want to save this stuff? Oh, on? yeah, we need all everything. That. Yes, ever something. To pull this off, the whole camper car thing, all we need is the shell, OK? So we have to peel this aluminum off. Uh, you ever peel a hard-boiled egg in one piece? No, I, I've never been successful at that. Well, that's what we're doing here, mm. OK? Yeah, Let's get the bottom cool. off of this. Ho, ho, ho! Very difficult task because we still want to reuse this tin. This camper is awesome. It's from the 1940s. It's a little rotten. It's a little rough around the edges. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, as Lutz says, uh, it's a turd. We're going to polish it. Look at the rust on this thing. I didn't think we had that much rust down here in South Texas. That's surface rust, man. That ain't Surface holes. rust? OK. It's a V8, automatic, air conditioned, power steering, power brake. When, when was the last time it ran and drove down the road? 90, three, four, five, Whoa. something like it. Let's have a look under the hood. Wow. Okay. Has anything lived in it? More importantly, is anything living in it right now? I'm not going to argue with you either way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the shag on the. On the roof. No one does that anymore. This is all period correct. Nothing's ever been done to it. Dang, dude. How much did you want for this thing? 2,500. What about 1,500 bucks? I think that's a good, fair offer. Let's do 1,800. Okay. Where else are you going to find another shorty van? 1,800 bucks. Nice. Thank You're going to help us load this thing? 
Are we gonna go back to 2000? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's worth it until Lutz sees the van and he sees all the rust on it. We decided that we're gonna change his name to Jeff Rust <laughs> instead of Jeff Lutz. He's gonna quit. Oh, it might actually clear it. It's like he's starting a Harley. Do we need, do we need to torque the, uh, the flywheel? Done. No? OK. All right, let's bring it on in just a little bit. But I see a problem one. already. What is it? Well, the, cross, the factory cross member goes here. Now that we have a 400 turbo, it reaches back there. Oh, so oh. this van came factory with a 350 turbo. Well, after Ed and I put the transmission in, we realized that the 400 is way longer than the 350 turbo. So this was the original cross member for the transmission, which bolted here. Well, clearly, you can see that this transmission is about six, seven inches long. So we're going to bend a tubular cross member, weld some angle to it, put some bolts and nuts in it, run it under here. Problem solved. First, we need to finish reskinning the camper frame. Goodbye, Pan. <laughs> Once the skin is back on, it's time to put the finishing touches on it. Molding, rivets, all the little details. We also need to get our custom tinted windows installed. And since our visibility is, uh, let's just say, a bit limited, we're installing cameras and monitors to see where we're going to go. Finally, we need to make sure the camper clears the van with the mechanical lift that we installed. I think we're good. Man, that's awesome. Except for Ed can't get out. Now the only thing to do is to introduce the Airstream to the world. On the inside, it is what it isn't. It is a sleeper, but it's also a massive prank. The beauty is in the details. I mean, look at those ugly windows, the de-stored panels, the hitch, the propane tanks. This thing is going to catch everyone's eye, but they're going to have no idea what they're looking at. Mission accomplished. In order to freak people out, they need to believe that the Airstream has unhitched from the tow vehicle. So we've got Ed acting like he's towing us around town, and then we give him the signal, let, go, let, let the go. show begin. Let go, let go, let go. We're disengaged. We're doing it, this car's freaking out. Holy <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Holy <laughs> Oh my God. Oh <laughs> I can't handle it. I can't handle it. All right, we're going to freak these people out again. <laughs> the Airstream is freaking people out all over town. This thing is so versatile. You can stage a breakdown. Curse you, bomb truck. Yeah, let's pull up, man. Pull oh, yeah. Oh, tough. Oh, jeez. Oh. A runaway. No, not again. No, 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 stop. Stop. This happens every time. No, stop. Help me, help me, help me. Yeah. 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 It can even fit through a drive through I want to have a uh, bacon cheeseburger, two orders of tots, a cola. F and A, bro. Thanks a lot. But we're focused on racing this thing. And just so happens that we don't need to wait until tomorrow to test this thing. Dominator is an OG 405 lister. And is always a threat on the street, so he knows how to put down a fast pass. Nice pass. Thank you very much. No, dude, yeah. we got a camper. He's bringing a truck and trailer to a truck and trailer race. Is he going to come back around? Yeah, you'll be, you'll be close. Deep. We got it. <laughs> 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 Almost a hundred mile an hour in the <laughs> DMK. 
camper. <laughs> now, wait a second. <laughs> now, I got to be honest. Yeah? Please do. Man. Heating up the turbo. <laughs> right? Yeah. I know what you're doing. I got your game. Did I burn you down? I pull up, and the first thing I see is Farm Truck's 90 model Dodge and a very not aerodynamic trailer. So my thought is, I got this one in the bag. The next thing I know, the trailer is actually pulling up to the starting line. And I knew then we were in deep trouble. Job well done, fellas. This is classic. Right on. <laughs>